Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin'. How's everybody doing this afternoon? We are going to um, scour our homes and yards and make some fall dough bowl filler. I know most of us have tiered trays or dough bowls and we're always looking for ideas, you know, of pieces we can use to decorate on them. So we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna tell you about that as soon as I get this to work so I can see your comments. <laughs> What's going on? I, I can't see well enough up there. Sorry y'all, let me just get this old laptop going down here. Am I, uh, I am live, aren't I? I think I see numbers. There, get there, get there. There I am. Okay. Hey, everybody. Sorry. Okay. Now, let me get to where I can see the comments now. Goodness gracious. Did y'all get your notifications that I was going live? I don't know what's happening today, but this is not good. Um. Y'all bear with me just a second. I will figure this out. Figure this out while, while, if you're watching on replay, please comment hashtag replay. I can go on and say that. Um, if you're new, please let us know so we can welcome you. And I'll eventually get to see your comments. I'm just gonna start over. Let me just start over. It's all good, it's all good, right? Right, right, I still get to be with my friends. And scroll to find myself again. I did it. I'm here. Bring up the con. Yeah, there's everybody. Oh my goodness. While I was having all the technical difficulties, we already got up to 77. Y'all are wonderful. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Wanda. This is our sweet tater bug shirt that you can find in the um, online shop under apparel. My son, Chris Tate, who y'all met Sunday when we when Lee was over here, designed it for us specifically for the members of our group. So if you need one, they're in the shop. I'm glad you like it. There's Lori from Salt Lake City, a newbie here. Oh good, Lori, welcome. I'm so glad. I love seeing my old friends and brand new ones both. So this is great. Hey, Patricia. Sue, Cecile, Tina, Darlene, Cindy's saying, asking how Betty is. But how are you, Betty? Y'all probably already, I, I missed so many. I'm very, very sorry. There's Lori Harris. Hey, Artis is here. Okay, okay. Let me tell you about this. Because yesterday, um, well, it started Sunday when Lee was here. We were making the pumpkins. And I kept thinking, boy, wouldn't an acorn be cute to have with the pumpkins and some that were different sizes. You could have them for tiered trays or your fall decor. Um, well, we're already over 100, y'all. Y'all, that's so fantastic. I'm so excited. I, I gotta say, thank you, thank you, thank you. We went over 9,000 followers. You know, my goal is 10,000. We're so close. And our group grew by leaps and bounds, and I'm so excited, and I hope y'all will enjoy it as much as I do. Beth, my friend Beth is here, my Twinkie. She's up at, are you up at Southern Vintage today? She, she's working up at Southern Vintage, probably. Her booth is right across from mine. I love me some Beth. Um, so let me just take you down this whole, tr let's travel through my brain together, because this is how this all went down. <laughs> yesterday was acorn city around here and I haven't stopped today but I wanted to find as many ways to figure out to do this for y'all as I could so oh it's cooling off in Wisconsin y'all had some bad weather though didn't you hey Michelle okay that's a stray piece of string I went into I did not go to Goodwill I went to into my old closet where I, I shuffle like winter clothes into that closet and back and forth 
And sometimes it doesn't get gone through regularly enough, and there are certain things in there I don't, I hadn't worn in years. So I just went shopping in my other closet, and I found this old brown shirt that has been well loved and worn quite a few times. Hey, Cindy and Michelle, there's Patricia. Tornado sirens went off six times. Oh no! Oh my goodness! Hey, Becky. Okay, get ready, y'all. I just took the sleeve and I cut it off. You can probably use um, a sock. You could you go get a sweater from Goodwill. Uh, if you've got something that's a uh, fabric that you like but it doesn't have a sleeve, just sew it into a, a, a you know a circle. Hey, Lori. Um, yes, Lori, today, this, y'all just don't, you're not going to have to buy anything. I simply looked around my house, my yard. We are, we are going to have some fun. Um, we are, Tiffany, we are going to make some, uh, fall decor, dough bowl filler, tiered tray. I got a little bit of it all. This is so simple, so simple. Got out my rubber bands. Hey, Lana. I did, Betty. I disturbed it bad. I did. Oh, so I'm just going to get one of these little rubber bands. I am going to... Wait, wait, wait. I got to do it this way first. Sorry, sorry. This is what I, I almost did it wrong yesterday, and I caught myself. You turn that sleeve inside out like that. Y'all, you know, we are so just, wait till you see how much we're flying by the seat of our pants today. But it's so much fun. I had so much fun thinking up uh, alternatives and options. And uh, I think y'all might like them. I hope somebody likes them as much as I did. Yeah, the little hair rubber bands will be just fine. This is a pack I got at Dollar Tree and it has a ton in the sink is plumbed in. Yay, yay, Kim. Okay. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Okay, so we've got our rubber band on one end, and I chose to um, leave this end that's already, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, but this end is the finished end, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to have a finished end. Hi, Susie from West Virginia. Flip it inside out. Okay, leave, you don't even have to cut off that excess because that's going to be part of your filler anyway. It can just work as filler. You're going to stuff this with polyfill. Um, hey, Jody, I'm going to show you. We're about to get to the, the grand reveal. So you're stuffing it with polyfill, and you remember how we did the running gather stitch around our pumpkins? Just do that here at the top. And Pull it together so you've got a stuffed, a stuffed sleeve, just like that. So I looked around. We're making acorns. I had bought this set of 12 little bowls, like condiment bowls or little, they're all in the party section at Dollar Tree. Uh, 12 pack for a dollar, and I just had them on hand. You don't have to have this exact thing, but I was looking around for things that might look like the top of an acorn. So I took this little bowl and got out my burnt umber um, paint, painted the whole little bowl, set it outside to dry, went out in my yard and got a pine cone. Uh, Y'all know about baking the pine cones to kill all the varmints. Google it. You, you don't want to bring varmints in your house. Do you have those bowls, Debbie? Good. Hey, Phyllis. Uh, yeah, tomorrow night's Grandma Tate's meatloaf and Lindy's macaroni and cheese. So all you've got to do, now I did a lot of prep work, but I'm showing you pieces of it and then the finished product for time's sake. This is the, the least fun part to me, is starting to disassemble your pine cone. I found that if I started from the bottom like this, 
Um, it was a little bit easier. You can take these small ones off the bottom, just like this. Just pull them off. Hey, Carol. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, BJ. Let me see here. A lid. Wait, wait, wait. A lid from... I lost it. But yes, a lid. Whatever Betty said. Start looking... Yes! A lid from an Icy or a Sonic uh, drink, whatever. Oh, thanks, Rita. It's a, it's a little crazy in here sometimes, but I've had fun with this one, so I hope y'all will too. And I hope I'll give you several different options. So anyway, you see, I'm pulling it apart. When it got too hard or these things were so pokey, I took out my pliers and just started cutting them at the base like that. And then what you're going to want to do is pretend we have them all done. I took my scissors. This is what it, each one's going to look like. There's the little pokey end. And I just cut off right about there. See what we've got? Okay. Hey, there's Amanda from Amanda Made. I'm so happy you're feeling better. We get to see her live tonight at 7.30. It's 7.30, right? Yes, I think so. So here's my little bowl of cut up pine cone parts. Now, let's fast forward so you don't have to watch me. Because what you're going to do is you're going to start right down at the base. It'll be brown. I painted it brown in case anything showed through and didn't overlap. But you're going to start gluing your little pine cone pieces all the way around. Now, if I had done this live, you probably would have unfollowed me. And I would not blame you. <laughs> so, you're going to get this. This is my other sleeve that I started with yesterday. This was what I wanted. I needed to try it to see if this would even work. Hey, Gail. Got a squirrel that hangs out here and shred through. Really, Lori? We've got a lot of squirrels too, but they stay behind the fence now because of Sarge. No squirrel zone here. Well, I got to the top and to finish it off, I just hot glued my jute around the top and y'all know that's a crepe myrtle stem, right? You know that. I cut off a crepe myrtle stem. So, here's you. This is our large pine cone. That would look so cute in a dough bowl, on a shelf, just sitting around for fall decor. I was really happy with the way that turned out. And I, it didn't cost anything. Nothing. I mean, yeah, if you had to go out and buy those, but... All these options, I knew if I got y'all started, you'd be coming up with a million options. So, there's your option for a large. And I know you could come up with a lot of other um, ideas for pine cone tops, but I just thought it turned out real cute. All right, number two. I thought, okay, thinking about the pumpkins. Thank you. Yes, Betty's telling us bake those pine, cone, pine cones so would you seal that with anything Lindy? Deborah I thought about that you could um, coat a little bit at a time with Mod Podge and if you wanted to put a little twinkle a little sparkle in there um, you absolutely could if you're lucky enough to have the pine cones from there's a certain kind of pine cone that's that rich caramel color and they, it doesn't have these spiky spiky things um, those are great. They're thicker um, and just richer color. You could seal this if you wanted to and kind of make it shiny. I didn't do anything. Actually, Karen, um, I cut the sleeve off of an old shirt of mine. I just shopped my own closet of stuff that probably should have gone to Goodwill a long time ago. But you could absolutely go to a yard sale this time of year or Goodwill, pick out a sweater or a, a fall colored sock. I think you could absolutely do that. Hey, Diane. Oh, am I, am I, am I pausing again? I hope not. Pistachio shells, keep those ideas coming. Yeah, pistachio shells, any, you know, get your brain going along this, this shape and this look. 
we're going. The next step I did was I thought, okay, I want to use some of this cute fall fabric I pulled for the pumpkins and come up with an acorn. Did I freeze, Rita? I was afraid of that. I don't know why that keeps happening. I'm very sorry. Hi, Maureen. And I can see down here, I'm watching on my laptop, it's fuzzy. After we freeze, I come back and it's a little fuzzy. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, let me let me give it a minute. So, y'all know what I did. Just like I did uh, with Lee, when Lee was here the other day, I was thinking about the shape of an acorn. And so I got out, y'all use anything you've got. I reached down and got out this notepad that Mr. Taterbugging keeps on his end of the table. And I just drew out what I thought looked like the shape of an acorn. Um, seal with clear sealer, pres okay, Betty, thank you. Thank you, Betty, she's so great. Hey, Judy, how are you? And there's Judy Zeppa too, we both are Judy's. It has been Cecile, it was doing it in my, I was teaching my sunflower class, part two of it yesterday and it kept doing that, it's so frustrating. Um, hey Betty, I closed Facebook and came back. Okay, good deal, okay, that's good to know. All right, so let me get out, just grab you some fabric. This was some honeycomb fabric that I think will be great for an, for an acorn, it's good fall color. Hey, there's my sister, Anne Marie. That's, she's my sister in love. That's Gerald, uh, Mr. Tater Buggins' um, sister in South Carolina. I've missed you. You've been busy in your garden. So all I did was I took my little template that I drew out and cut out, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just kind of the general shape of a, what I thought one side of an acorn would look like. So we'll trace that. Onto your fabric. Y'all know how to do that. And then cut that out in two. You need two sides. Fast forward. Like I said, I'm trying to save y'all time and I'm gonna sew this one. So out of this fabric, I cut out my, my template. I'm gonna put right sides together this time because we're not gonna do the gathering stitch. We're actually gonna sew this real quick. You can hot glue this. I'm gonna show you two, uh, I did it two ways. I'm telling you, I tried to cover every base for y'all ahead of time so you wouldn't have to uh, do trial and error. I tried to do it for you so you could decide how you wanna do it based on what my finished products turned out Wow, we're at 188, y'all. Oh my goodness, this is so wonderful. Again, if anybody's new to my page, please let us know so we can welcome you. I know we have a lot of new followers and I'm so anxious to meet all of you. All right, just got my needle and thread. And I know if you watch Sunday, you're like, oh, Lindy, don't make me sit through this, but I I'm, I'm good, it's good now. I know what I'm doing here, I've practiced. <laughs> drive through for custard watching. Oh, that sounds so good. Don't tell me that. Now, if you're doing your, you know, if you're going to, you know this already, but I'm going to tell you, if you're going to do the gathering stitch, you're going to make long stitches. So it'll gather more easily. But to, we're going to actually sew this shut because I wanted to try it for y'all both ways, glued or sewn. You'll want shorter stitches so your stuffing doesn't poke out. Welcome, Audrey. I'm so glad you're here. And there's Leslie. Leslie's new from Columbia, South Carolina, right there by my my uh, sister in love, Anne Marie. Yes, I'm just so happy. Practice does. It it hasn't made me perfect yet, but it's made me better. I've practiced a bunch. I uh, even sewed some more pumpkins yesterday. I wanted to make some more because, and I'm loving seeing y'all's pumpkin stacks. I hope y'all are enjoying making those too. Um, but I kept thinking about how easy that was to do and it was stuff we already had and I love to be able to bring you ideas 
where you don't have to run out and buy specific items. You can just shop around your house or your yard. If I can find something in nature that works with a craft, I love it even more. Thank you so much, Lori. I'm glad you like it. I've got more. There's so many more coming. And again, I'm just stitching right around this edge. You could, if you, you know, if you're a seamstress and you've got your um, sewing machine out, just whip this around the, on the sewing machine in no time flat. If you don't like to sew, get out the hot glue gun. I did one like that yesterday. I'll show you how it turned out too. But I thought, I just thought, I wanted to try something in a different shape. Oh, did you, Judy? Oh, that's great. I love it. I, I think they're so perfect for a dough bowl. Um, I'll probably have mine out on my uh, barnwood shelves in my eating area. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed that, Robbie. Um, we are already talking about doing it again. And we might even include um, some cooking with Mr. Taterbug. And I don't know. And listen, one thing I wanted to talk to y'all about while I'm stitching this up is if y'all keep showing out like you've been doing for me, we're going to be at 10,000 before too long, I hope. And I need to have a party for you. We need to do something really fun and, you know, a wing ding of a party. So if y'all have some ideas, y'all throw them out at me. Share them in, the, in our group or whatever. Yeah, so many new, and if you didn't hear me in the beginning, uh, this t-shirt I have on is the one that my son designed for our group. And they're available in our online shop. If you're a new sweet tater bug and didn't know we had our own t-shirts, we got them. Hey, Sarah. All right, we're almost done. It doesn't take long to do these. If you're just sitting there watching a movie or uh, listening to YouTube or something, you can whip these out. Hey, Rebecca, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. So this is what I have. This is my own little template. Just drew out an acorn shape. Now I'm gonna knot it. I mean, that's about as simple as it gets. Hi, Kelly. I'm so happy to see you again. I, you know, any of you that, that come back to see me make me so happy. I appreciate y'all so much. And so does Mr. Taterbug, in which he still can't get in his Facebook page, y'all. I don't know what we're gonna do. He is really bummed about it. Okay, the reason you put the right sides together is because you're gonna flip it inside out. Sorry, I had to see what that noise was. Okay, and see I sprung a leak right there. There he is, there he is. He was out running an errand, but he's back. We were talking about your meatloaf and macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna cheat. You could take your needle and thread and stitch that up, but I'm just doing, I'm gonna do a little bit of hot glue right here. I guess I got my stitches too far apart right and here. And burn your fingers, right? No, cause I'm about to do this. <laughs> Should have done that first. There. Uh, uh, hey, Betty. Tater bug and sweet tater bugs. If anybody wants to drop a link um, for who said who asked that, Lori. Uh, yeah, it's just my. It's for my followers. A play. It's just a community where you can share what you're creating. You can share prayer requests, pictures of your grandbabies, whatever's important to you. Hey, Patty. I I saw that. Hey, there's Emery. Yes, your sister's there's here. My sis. She's been so busy with her garden and her chickens. Hey, Judy Zeppa. There we are. Brenda and Gail. Hey, everybody. Could you hand me my little thing of uh, stuffing right there, real quick? We're going to stuff this up. I just want to, let me just get a chunk of it for right now. Thank you. He's so handy. Who's, who's going to join me for tomorrow yeah, night? Yeah, who else coming for meatloaf and macaroni and cheese? Yeah, who else coming? Hey, hey, Robbie. 
Sarah, Michelle, hey everybody. He's got his Sarge shirt on today. I surprised him with that Sarge shirt. Yeah. It says, life is better with Sarge. Um, yeah, Judy, that's what we thought too, but it won't let him because when he puts in his phone number, it says you've already got an account and he can't get past that. And I, I don't have a second phone number no. and can't use Lindy's and... So if anybody knows what to do, Hey Kelly, no, us. tomorrow night, six o'clock. Tomorrow night is at six o'clock. Grandma's Central. meatloaf. Yes, Anne-Marie. Good comfort food. It is going to be... Most everybody likes meatloaf, and there's all kinds of different recipes out there, but this one is my grandmother's. It's the food. only one I like. I did not, I don't like meatloaf. And I'll tell you what it is to die for, and it's really simple to make, too. Lori, what do you mean if you remember? Set you an alarm, girl. Put it in your phone. Got locked out of his Facebook account several months ago. Um, he just... Oh, I can't, I mean, what if that happened to my page? You know, it's scary for me. That's why, you know, you've got to have a backup plan. Yes, Sandy, he will give you the recipe. Yeah, we're going to have the recipe. We're going to have the recipe for both the macaroni and the uh, meatloaf. Tiffany said, did you post an ingredient list yet? I tell you what, I'll do that tonight. That's a good question. I need to do that. Um, what I'm while y'all keep talking, I'm gonna do a gather stitch around the top of my stuffed acorn. Um, kind of quickly, uh, for the macaroni, you'll need some butter, yeah. some milk, some large elbow macaroni, uh, some shredded cheddar cheese, and I think that's pretty much milk. Did I say milk? Velveeta. Velveeta, it's yeah, it's cheese. my macaroni and cheese recipe. It's what it, my sons both still ask for it, and I was always in charge of making the macaroni and cheese for oh, the big family gatherings, and so it's that because my grand after my grandmother was gone, hers was the best. Hello, uh, Elizabeth, and yes, I Betty, I have tried to Google and answer that, and I've gone around and around and around and. That's all it does is take me around and around in circles. It just, it's like my account is just not there. But, uh... What is the page for this? You're on it right now, Andrea. He's part of Taterbug. We're, we are Taterbug, and so he goes live from this page. What was that? Yeah, if, and if we're missing anything, we do go back. Well, I do now. He used to get to go back and read all the comments. So, my person, my brother told me she crossed it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Susan. I'm so sorry to hear that. Mm, 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 mm. Everybody, let's pray for Susan Daughter's, Daughter's brother. And if I've missed any others, I do. I can't respond to all of them or I'll get in trouble. Uh, but I do read them and I try to answer any questions that I might have missed or somebody else might have missed. But I'll tell you what, I've got some really great friends on here that share. Oops. Where'd it go? Hit the X. If I can find uh, the little delay. Duh. Now, yeah, hit the new comments thing. Sorry, y'all. Oh. Okay, I went around the top. Let me just tell them this real quick. I went around the top, did a gather stitch, and we're just going to pull that together. Just that simple. Just long, long, simple stitches. And then for this acorn, again, I'm, I was winging it. I was making it up. So I'm going to take this thread and go through both sides. Back and forth a little bit. Let me see. I saw a grated half white onion over the mac and cheese so you get the onions and the juice. Interesting, Kathy. Yeah, you could easily, if you, if you love onions and want to add onions to it, to this recipe, um, there's, you can even add tomatoes. I just, I don't like tomatoes and my mom doesn't like onions. Hello, Joanne from Quebec. Thanks for joining Quebec. us. Is that right? How do you pronounce Quebec. it? Quebec. Uh, I'm so happy you're here. Ouch. Why did I do it that way? Don't stick. I'm too, I've got, yeah. 
like I did the other day. Um, Someone asked if we have moderators. Yes, we do. We do. Um, my sister in love, Anne Marie, Betty Sargent, Cindy Kane, and Opa Burks. Those are our, mod uh, our moderators here, and these ladies help me tremendously. They can usually. Um, they usually can post a link before I even have a chance to ask for it. So, hey Jill, we see you. They are on top of it. Um, for the meatloaf, uh, if y'all want to jot this down, we're gonna need two pounds of ground beef, a little Worcestershire sauce, a cup of milk. Um, Oats. Oh yeah, you'll need uh, eggs. Cups, a, a, a cup of just good old oats. Some eggs, and I think that's everything. It's a really simple recipe. Yes, they are, Michelle. They're so sweet. All right, here's here's the body of our little acorn. Now I'm going to give you two options for the top of this. I'm going to leave you alone. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you for coming in. And we are, Joanne, we are in Memphis, Tennessee. Just outside of it. Just outside in of Memphis. In Bartlett, yeah. Oh, Robin, you gave it away, didn't you? We, we don't have ground beef around here. We have so much ground venison or venison sausage that that's all we use. We will be using deer burger. Uh, there's no tomato sauce in grandma's, is there? No, and that's one of the... I think that's why I love it. That's one of the things about this um, meatloaf. It is so good, you don't need to put that tomato paste or tomato sauce on the top of it. It is delicious. So good. I, I had grown up with it. Do you really, Leslie? I had grown up on meatloaf that had that tomato paste on top. I didn't care for it, but I ate it. Um, but then Grandma Tate made it. Oh, it was so good. I told her, I said, I cannot believe you made me love meatloaf. And it is good. Okay. I gotta get, I got I'm lots. Too small. I've got, yeah, and I'm too short. I've got my jute. What I did was I just left a little tail right up here at the top. You don't have to. Um, and I saw somebody ask about the uh, acorn pattern that I drew out. I will be more than happy to share that. I can't share it from this page, uh, but I can share it in the group under the file section. So be looking for it. I'll post in the group and let you know that I have it uploaded into the files. And um, now get ready for a ton of glue strings. I had glue going everywhere yesterday. Um, but I will have this acorn pattern. I actually have two acorn patterns I'm gonna share with you. I'll show you the other one. Sherry said her mom uses ketchup. Yeah, a lot of people put ketchup mm -hmm. or tomato paste or tomato sauce on top of a meatloaf. Uh, but I want you to try this recipe without it. It's gonna be so good. And then you can modify it if you want. The, you could d easily uh, add that to the top of it if you wanted to after you've tried it, you know, if you don't like it that way and would rather have the tomato sauce. Susan, it's six o'clock tomorrow night, Central Time. And if you're new, he's already done 10 cooking shows. Can y'all believe that? I didn't think, he, he argued with me. He said, I have not done 10 and I, I'm about to upload them to YouTube, to our YouTube channel, so I, there are 10. He's done 10 cooking shows, so if you missed any of those and want to go back and look at some of those from the past, you can. We try to share all of the recipes afterwards. Oh, glue. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll see y'all tomorrow night, hopefully. I hope everybody joins me. Yeah. Me and Lindy, she, I, is, she is my I just mo lovely assistant. <laughs> I just monitor the comments for him while he's cooking. I'm not on camera tomorrow, so if you're sick of seeing my mug. You Who was that? Somebody in Grenada, Mississippi. Okay. Susan Dawson, Grenada, oh. Mississippi. All right, see y'all later. Thank you for filling up the boring parts of my craft. So you see how easy it is. Use brown gravy in place again. Now that I would love. I love brown gravy.
And that McCormick brown gravy that comes in a little packet, don't hate me, but it tastes good. I like it. I've never been great at gravy making, so. Hi from Wisconsin, Susan, hi. Oh, did you really? You had a lot of, I'm surprised at how many venison lovers are on, um, are on my page. Y'all mentioned that last week. You know, sometimes people get mad at you for that, but we love it. We love it. And it's leaner. Oh, who said that? Who said that? Oh, Lori, you're so sweet. Thank you. You are so sweet. Y'all are too good to me, I gotta tell ya. Tomato soup over it. You could easily, if if uh, you would miss that on top, you could easily add it to the top of this. Anne Marie, do you have Grandma Tate's uh, meatloaf recipe? I bet you do. Uh, we have white gravy, which is one of my favorites, and um, Italians call red sauce gravy. Am I right, y'all? I believe. Um, make a roux gravy for me. Oh, gravy. oh yes. <gasps> oh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> that sounds good. There's another first time from Wisconsin. Hi, Susan. Welcome. I am so happy y'all are here. Poke around our page and see if you um, enjoy what we do enough to maybe follow us. If you, if you want to follow us, then hop on over and join our Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs group. Just remember to answer the two questions so my moderators can let you in. Y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just circling and circling. Um, you do, it's for followers of my page, so you have to be a follower of Tater Buggin and just agree to the rules and it's basically just be kind and we have never had any drama there. Uh, we don't do drama. We all love each other and we're just there for support and encouragement and fun. It's a sweet community. Watching from Nova Scotia, Amanda, welcome. Oh my goodness, y'all, our little Taterbug universe is just growing by leaps and bounds. I'm very excited. We are making all kinds of acorns, Allison. Uh, I went on an acorn frenzy yesterday and I decided I was gonna be so prepared for today that I would be able to try all these in advance for you. So any that didn't work, <laughs> didn't work, <laughs> any that didn't work, I just called and we moved on or I modified and figured it out uh, and that's what I'm bringing to you. Okay, so this is another option. So if you just got here, we have made one out of a sleeve of a shirt, an old, like a thin sweater shirt that I have. We put, we painted one of these little condiment bowls that come in a 12 pack at Dollar Tree. That's what I had on hand. I was determined. I was not gonna buy anything new. I did not go shopping. I didn't go anywhere. I shopped my whole house and my yard. We painted this, I painted it burnt umber so that if any spaces showed between my pine cone, what do you call those, pine cone tips, you wouldn't see them. And just finished it off with jute on top and a little stick you can find in your yard. So that was number one. Number two, I took, I drew out a template of my own that I thought might look like an acorn. I was pretty pleased with how it turned out and I decided to leave a little hole at the top. And so I have my stick from my yard. Let me pull it over here. Did, Oh, Teresa's first time from Knoxville. Welcome, Teresa. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my, I think I'm gonna have to use my little pliers on this. This, this twig, y'all, was from my front yard. This is from a pin oak. I usually have crepe myrtle sticks, but I'm down to just the big ones. All right, we're gonna shoot a little hot glue right in here. Put our stick right here in the top, our little twig right here in the top. Hold it for a second till it kind of uh, cools. 
Thank you, Cindy. Did somebody ask about my paint caddies? Yeah. Um, also, let me tell you this while I hold this. If you're new to the page, you can go the, to the very top of my tater bugging page, and there's a pinned post with all my important links, the ones that I'm asked for a lot. We've got an Amazon shop of our favorite things that he uses in cooking, or just anything that we just really, really love enough to reorder or recommend to y'all. Uh, we've got links to... What else do we have links to? We hit... Did we hit 200 months saying 188? So... <gasps> So there we go. We've got our little, look at our little acorn. Isn't that cute? And just use all the, your little fabric scraps that you have. Okay, so I did this one yesterday. Now let me show you. This one was hot glued. I don't hate it. It's, it just gets a little wonky, but acorns aren't perfect. You know, they, thank you for the heart, y'all. Y'all are so sweet. I was determined, Rita, I was going to get my money's worth out of those crepe myrtle sticks. Uh, so this one was hot glued. This one was sewn, but look what I did. I did the same thing as the big one, and I tried um, gluing the little uh, pine cone ends. And when I got to the top, I just finished it off with a little jute and the twig. But y'all, look, can't you see these in a, in a dough bowl? Or if you have a, just any kind of little bowl to put out for, um, for fall decor, and these, these go through Thanksgiving. I think I saw Lee saying it the other night, you know, for fall decor, you get to start putting it out in September. It stays up till Thanksgiving. That's a long time. Didn't cost you a dime, hopefully. Oh, good, Dawn. Yes, please do. There's more. Well, here's another one I did. Y'all, I'm not kidding. I was practicing for y'all. I was practicing. And I had gotten out all of that old, well, it's just uh, fabric scraps that I had on hand for me and Lee to make the pumpkins. And we've got acorns. We got a huge acorn from my closet. <laughs> now, let me show y'all these. I might have squealed for these. Wait, before I show you, for these, I looked around. I didn't draw it. I didn't freehand it. Let me grab my, let me grab my practice fabric again. I looked around for circles, just like we did for the pumpkins. And I was thinking about acorns. So I knew, okay, we got to get smaller but I want various sizes. So what I used for one was the bottom of one of this. Uh, it's the eight ounce paint. Y'all probably have something around that size. Then I looked over on my table and I had this ribbon still out, this fall ribbon. I drew a circle. This was my medium size. Okay, you just draw out your circle. You could even use, if you do have these condiment bowls, go for, you know, that size acorn. Just keep playing around, that's all I did. So you're gonna cut the circle out. Do just like we did in the top of this acorn and start a, a running gathering stitch, long stitches just around the edge and then pull it tight. Put a little stuffing in it shove a little stuffing, pull it tight, and tie it just like I did this one. If you've ever made uh, yo-yos, like quilt fabric yo-yos, it's a yo-yo without stuff. I mean, yeah, with stuffing in it, I should say. I got out my brown buttons and a stick. This is off my crepe myrtle stick. So we've got this size. I believe this was the ribbon size. I just, I went and got, I have got buttons y'all. I went and got in my button stash and I pulled out some buttons that looked like, you know, the right, they look acornish, is that a word? But look how cute. 
So, let me show you. These cute, cute, little bitty acorns. What do you think? Just like doing strawberry. Now, I've never done strawberries, but yeah. This, this teeny tiny one is from the bottom of this paint uh, bottle. So you can do, all you have to do is look around your house for different size circles, run that gathering stitch. I mean, it's simple. Uh, you know, I'm betting you crafters have um, buttons hanging around. You can go out in your yard for the pine cones. Uh, I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I need to do one. Y'all know how to y'all would know how to um you just glue these little pieces around the edge if you're late getting here i pulled apart a pine cone and you know you'll get these pieces then just take your scissors cut them down if i can get my thumb in there cut them down so they're not so long and then you can just glue them right around the edge and it'll make what looks like an acorn top Better yet, if you live where there are the white oak trees that have the big acorn tops, pop those off, soak them overnight in bleach water, I believe is what I read. I did my research for y'all, I promise. Let them dry, let them air dry, and they'll pop right on the top of these sizes. I wish I had those. Uh, when Mr. Taterbuggin goes up to the hunting land, there are some white oaks up there. And um, he's gonna see if he can find me some. Because right now, <laughs> where is it? My pin oak out front has these little acorns. And this is, the, this is the size of the top. But if you only have these, use these like the pine cones and start gluing them right around and then just stack them on top of each other to make your top of an acorn and it looks so cute hi Linda oh thank you so much I'm glad y'all like these I've been so excited but then let me show you something that I thought was so cute um, my husband was saying that um, he thought our tree out front dropped the acorns last year so this year what we get since they dropped last year look at the size of these little bitty acorns I don't think I can do a darn thing with them, but aren't they stinking cute? <laughs> I suppose if you could gather up enough of these, you could glue them on the top of these little bitty acorns, right? So let me show you. When you put all of these together in your little bowl, can't you just see? I have this bowl that it looks like leaves, so I immediately thought about it for my acorns and just toss them all or in your dough bowl where's my i think i'm missing one did one get away from me maybe not and you've got a whole cute little bowl of fall decor it's so much fun oh do you sherry put them in those tiny bottles oh i love y'all's ideas i love them oh that's that's gotta be i've got to do it now I love it. Tiny bottles from Dollar Tree. Now, y'all, when you make your acorns, all different kinds. Oh, and I think you probably already know this already, but when these get so hairy with uh, glue strings, hit it with your heat gun, and they'll all just melt back down into the jute, and it won't look such a mess. I want to smooch them. <laughs> I love anything that's adorable. Oh my word. So, I decided I was still on a roll because I was determined to bring y'all some, some fun and goodness that I would go from this size to this size. I just drew out another one. Just drew it out. Hey, Vicki, that's all right. Better late than never. Yes, I love acorns. I do too. Um, so, Somebody mentioned a strawberry. I said I had never made a strawberry, but this looks like the strawberries that you use to um, fill with shavings, what those metal shavings to 
sharpen your needles but so that's what came of this size was this cutie patootie little thing and so why couldn't you now watch I'm just gonna we got a little bit more time thanks Gail I didn't see you I think I've missed a lot of comments today I was so determined to show you every kind of pine cone I dreamed up in my head so you would start putting these around the top. So since we've got some time, let's chat and see how this one's gonna look finished up because I didn't get to finish yet. And I did, I made it just like I did the bigger one. Oh, wait a minute, I, I thought of something. Uh, which one did I use? I think, let me pull these two. Now let me show you something. You remember my little, Tuesday craft with the embroidery hoops and I got these cute cute little wooden leaves from Hobby Lobby Look at that. Let's do it. Oh They're made with a half circle. Okay. I used a whole circle for this, but I used my template That's kind of a triangle Look how cute 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 I, yeah, I didn't, I, I think I remember Lee doing strawberries, but I had missed it live. And I should have gone back to watch it because they were so cute. They turned out adorable. Let's try. I mean, look at that on this little button one. Oh, I've got to do it. That's just so cute. Oh, they don't, Lori. Oh, I'm sorry. I hate to bring y'all stuff that you can't get a hold of easily uh, but I just saw those at Hobby Lobby and they were 40% off and I had to have them a circle or half circle for acorns these are a circle I just drew a, a circle I traced it with whatever I could find on my table honestly this shape is from a template that I drew out they are in the fall how do you, um it's in the front of my store in with any little fall mm, embellishments oh how do i put it i think it would just be in the seasonal i think it's called seasonal um i found that like the little easter chicks in that same section last spring um, so that's where those little, I think you find um, hearts at, at Valentine's, the wood ones, and maybe uh, snowflakes like that at Christmas. There's a lot of, you know, different ones. Yeah, if somebody had a glow forge, they could do that. This acorn makes, I mean, this template makes this shape acorn. And then the circles make this shape. So you can do either. Now when I cut out my sleeve, when you use a sleeve, it's usually gonna taper down at the bottom. So it kind of gave it that acorn shape. Once I, I just put a rubber band around one end, turned it inside out, or turned it right side out again, I should say, which I did at the beginning of the show, show of <laughs> the live, you're gonna end up with this. You've got the little, rubber band there leave that tail because it's gonna just mean you don't have to put as much stuffing stuff it with rice stuff it with beans stuff it with polyfill that's what I did I used polyfill do your gathering stitch around the top and I just I had painted inside my bowl I mean I had painted the outside of my bowl I filled this with a lot of hot glue shoved my sweater sleeve right up in there and held it in place it feels very secure and then I just started gluing and I'm gonna tell you it took a hot minute to glue all these on that's why I was not about to make y'all sit and watch me do this and then add a little jute at the top so that's that bigger method um, and then this one I'm working on now was just this teeny little template that I drew out I do too Debbie and I was determined <laughs> I was determined yesterday. There was a lot of trial and error. 
And then I think I just know I'll just do something else. I'll just I thought no, I want some acorns. I want to figure this out. And my brain just you know how your brain starts going and it plays off of the last idea and the last idea. And, sorry y'all. So we're just gluing on some little Yes, I thought of that yesterday too. Plastic grocery bags. Recycle those. Use them for stuffing. I've done that before in different things. Um, absolutely. Okay, I'm trying to pick out some of my smaller ones for this one. Oh, this is so cute. Mod podging fabric on cardboard and cutting out the individual pine cone pieces. I'm gonna have to reread that. She can cut those leaves, I'm telling you. Yeah, oh, you mean on her Glowforge, I bet she can. And I know if Amanda's still here, she has a laser cutter. She She's probably got leaves too. Half of a lemon from Dollar Tree. <gasps> That's a great idea. Oh, and plastic eggs are a great acorn shape. Wood eggs, plastic eggs, it just, I didn't have any of those. I mean, I was using whatever was in my general vicinity yesterday. I decided I was not gonna go buy anything that I didn't have. Um, I was gonna figure it out. So how did I do in figuring it out? What do y'all think? Hey, Dana. Um, I'm gluing on these little pieces of pine cone that I, you know, I took a pine cone apart and I'm gluing onto this little bitty acorn that I made from my teeny tiny template. Because we've got all different sizes of acorns now, made all different ways. Let me show you how it's looking. And we're just gonna keep kind of uh, stacking them on each other. Use plastic eggs, yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes it really easy. You got your plastic egg, and you can uh, you can cover it with your fabric or whatever you want to cover it. Cover it with a paper sack. I think that would look great. Um, and then wrap your jute around the top. Or you could add the, the pine cone or acorn caps. You can do the acorn caps if you can find enough of them. Just the same way I'm doing these pieces of uh, pine cone. All right, let's, let's do a little bit more here. See if we can get it close to being finished. Because we're right at an hour. Oh, thank you, Rita. I'm so glad y'all enjoyed this. I had so much fun playing with these and trying to figure out different ways to uh, to show you. So it, it was it was fun. Did I get my painting work done? No, I did not. But I did, I did take the time to teach the second part of my sunflower class. That's something else. If you're new, I do teach monthly classes, but you can, uh, you can sign up for any of them at any time. It's not a subscription. They're in my online shop. This month we're doing a sunflower and I'm uh, giving you the option of doing it with texture or not. This is the sunflower we're doing this month. And it's so far, it's been so much fun. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Carol. I'm so glad. Yeah, in in case let's let's recap. If anybody just came in, look at our all our little bowl of acorns we've got, all shapes and sizes, with button tops, leaves, sticks. We got got all kinds, and uh, I just think it makes fun filler. You could get one of those. Um, Wait a minute. Oh, I was not going to get up from my seat this time, but here I'm going to do it. Let me see. Because I just want to see what it looks like. Serious. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Uh, I've got this little... Uh, where did I put it? Yeah. No, it's not there. Somebody moved it. You know the little square... Uh, wow, I just had it right there. Just cleaned up my studio. Well, let's pretend... Do you know the little square Dollar Tree, short Dollar Tree um, vases? 
I can't believe it. It just sprouted legs and walked off. This is an old candle that I've got to clean out more. But if you had just one of those little short Dollar Tree vases, all these little ones, especially, you could fill them up in that vase as filler. I think it would be adorable. Anyway. Put the little tiny acorn cap. Yes, I know. It's... It was still too tiny. Well, I could do it right here at the very, very top. Let me see if that'll cover. It would end up looking like that. But yeah, if I could, <laughs> if I could, you know what else you can do is fall colored pom poms and just pop an acorn top right on that. So cute. Anyway, I just like to give y'all some different options. Could wrap the bottom with jute too? Absolutely, yes, that would be so cute. So cute. All right, do y'all want both of these templates? I can, uh, I can put them both on one, one page and you can just print them out and use them. You, you can draw these, I promise. I just quickly drew something out that I thought was kind of the shape of an acorn. Um, but I will be happy to put those in the file section of the Taterbug and Sweet Taterbugs group page. And then you can just print them off and start making uh, acorns. And please, if you make them, post a picture of them in our group. I'd love to see them. I get so excited when y'all do that. Um, what else do I need to cover? I will do that, Judy, then. I, I sure will. You have grand craft ideas. Thank you, Jan. That's so sweet. That is sweet. Um, and I'm mulling around Sunday. You know, I, for those of you who are new, I go live uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays at 4 Central. And I'm thinking about maybe a painting on Sunday because every now and then I like to do a, a painting live with y'all. So I'm kind of thinking about that Sunday. Yeah, shop classes and group. I think, I, I think I've covered those, right? I was trying to remember. See, these sweet ladies keep me on my toes. I mean, they, they are my brain for when I go live. Thank you, Renee. This was fun. I had so much fun um, making these with y'all or coming up with uh, the different ideas. And I had picked out, look, in case I had time to actually sew some of the little circle and button ones, I had pulled so many different uh, shapes and sizes and even colors. I thought that would even be a pretty acorn top with a dark color fabric um, would look good and fallish and like that one. How fun. I just go through your stash. Seriously, don't go buy anything. Go through your stash. Challenge yourself to tap into that creativity and um, see what you can come up with because it's really exciting to watch your own idea kind of takes shape, and uh, sometimes it doesn't. And <laughs> I speak from experience, we're like, well, back to the drawing board. Thank y'all so much. Did you, Jimmy? I wanna see, I want to see. Oh, my rosebud, that was so much fun. Uh, yeah, and definitely go check out, uh, in the online store, you can go see what all we have available. and. Where is it? I realized, I don't, I guess Mr. Taterbuggin has it over there. Uh, there was one fall woodblock print that, that I forgot to upload to the shop. So I'll probably try to do that tonight too. Uh, but I just appreciate y'all so much. And like I said, we're over 9,000 already. So at 10,000 followers, we're going to have a wing ding of a celebration. I don't know what yet. Maybe I'll have a several days of guests coming in to craft with me or will will there will be lots of happy mail that much i know so if you have any friends who don't follow me hey deborah from union south carolina if you have any friends that you think might enjoy what we do here um please let them know let them know we're here get the word out for us word of mouth is the best advertising because we just are having so much fun over here all the time uh, okay Everywhere, Lindy, we're gonna get you to 10,000. Michelle, y'all are so sweet. If it happens, it's because of y'all. So, 
that's why I'm going to have a party for you. <laughs> if, if you get me there, I'm having a big old party for y'all. I'll have to pull out all the stops for that. Um, but I want y'all to go have a great evening. I'll work on the template. Set your alarm. 6 o'clock central tomorrow night. My sweet, sweet husband's going to be in our kitchen making you some meatloaf and macaroni and cheese. Um, and if you don't know, my parents live right next door. So when he cooks uh, for y'all on Friday nights or whatever nights, they also get some. So they're excited about it too. Um, yeah, let, let me know if you need anything. Please post in our group. Hey, Melanie, I didn't know you were here. Love you too. Uh, that's my niece. Okay, y'all have a great evening. I'll talk to you soon, and uh, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow night. Bye. Love y'all.